Hey guys, Kated here. Welcome to another episode of my devlog. I'm making a 2D puzzle game called Soul Blossom. Since I have been really busy lately, and most of the things that I was doing for about 3 weeks was animation for Soul Boy, I've decided that I will show you the process which I took on an example time lapse I already got that. As I said many times before, I'm not an artist, so I'm not very good at creating art. That's why, every time I want to create something new, I start with looking up differences online. Bad news is, I could hardly find any references for the frames which suited actions that I wanted to animate. The good news, while painting them over and over, I actually learned how frames should behave, and thus, I was able to create cool animation like this with no differences at all. So, let's start with actual painting process. At the beginning, I paint the first animation frame until I decide that it feels good for this particular action. Sometimes, I manage to do it on the first try, sometimes it takes a bit more. Then, I paint contours, for the rest of the frames in the animation, and make fixes when necessary. In the case which you can see, I repainted certain parts of the animation, cause it just didn't feel good. If I'm happy with the result, I fill the center of the frame and add other details to the animation. In this case, I paint contours for different shades of frame color, which then I'm selecting and filling with color in the next step. Since the graphic style in Soul Blossom is in flat color, I don't need to bother with gradients and blots, so after filling it with color, I can call it done. One 20 frame animation takes me about 2-3 to three hours. As I already said, I have been really busy lately, so here are a few animations which I managed to paint. Here is an animation for studying in flowers, which I will probably also use for emitting an aura. That's a pushing animation. Now falling animation, followed by ground slamming animation, and lying on cloud animation. And at the end, dying animation, and related to it, respawning animation. I hope you have enjoyed this animation show off, as well as the in-depth process of animation making by me. If so, leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. That's all for today, see you again in the next video.